it is general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below hey supplies you got a brand new beginning coming up okay someone's very passionate about you money coming in stability security coming in guys someone wants a brand new beginning with you could have ended a cycle with someone or you could have broken up but there is this need to have a clean slate with you okay someone wants to start from ground zero this is someone who wants you to start a clean slate forget what happened in the past let bygones be bygones okay someone wants a brand new beginning with you passionate a lot of passion here a lot of passion here. Okay, we have the Six of Pentacles. That could have been a one-sided situation in the past, okay? Something was unbalanced. Something was one-sided here. But now this person's coming in trying to bring balance in the situation here. This is someone who wants to give you what you deserve. They want a reconciliation with the Three of Cups here. Like I said, you guys went your separate ways, okay? Or there was someone who constantly probably even friend-zoned you. But they're coming in to balance the situation, ready to put in that equal amount of, um, you know, uh, emotions. And there's going to be this equal exchange of emotions, communication, whatever you want, okay? But they're ready to come in and give you what you deserve, what you're deserving of. They know your worth, okay? This just wanted to come out. Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, there is something very stable, something solid, something committed coming in. Okay, this person definitely wants a lot of uh, stability with you. Maybe even mostly it's marriage and commitment. That's what the Ten of, Ten of Pentacles says. Yeah, but if not, there is money coming in for you. A lot of money. But that definitely looks like someone who wants to commit to you for sure. But with the Seven of Wands, yeah, I feel you're the one who's. A little defensive on your side. I don't know if you want to give this person another chance or not, okay? But you're a little defensive when it comes to this person. Maybe you're wanting to stand your ground. Or maybe you're just not wanting to give in. But it could also be the other way where this person is ready to fight for this relationship. They want you to defend this relationship anyhow. From probably uh, anyone else. Probably they need to fight with their family members in order to be with you or just this is just trying to fight external situations okay to guard your relationship let's see yes of course yeah. only do they want that passionate beginning with you <coughs> this person wants to open up emotionally could be someone who is emotionally shut down, not wanting to offer their emotions to you, not wanting to be vulnerable. But yeah, they're ready to open up. They do. Oh my god, like seriously, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, what the hell? Guys, dude, which other sign got this? They also have all three Aces, I think it's Pisces or Scorpio. Wow. A brand new beginning in love, a brand new passionate beginning, a clean slate, and now they want something stable, something committed, something solid, something tangible. <sighs> they want success with you and they're very confident about it. So I think with the Seven of Wands, this is someone who wants to fight for this connection. I think you stop fighting for this and that's what they realize and now that you've walked away probably or you're not giving this person your energy. I don't see you anywhere here. I don't know why. I feel it's just all about them. <laughs> with the devil here. They're obsessed with this connection. They're very obsessed with this connection. It's it's like this heavy codependency that they have on this connection, you know. <coughs> they probably live in fear. They probably feel, you know what I'm getting? It could also be you who feels that this is a very toxic connection here. You feel very trapped in this connection. You probably feel that you cannot get rid of this connection, okay? Uh, although it's toxic, it's draining you out, you know. But uh, you feel very restrictive. But again, the chains are in your hands. So if you want, you can break this connection, all right? I mean, you can break these chains if you feel there's a lot of restriction here or you just feel very stuck to this person. See, Eight of Swords here. This is you. Now I'm getting you. 
you're living in your head okay there's some kind of thing that's there's there's this um energy of living in fear <coughs> maybe you have your own misunderstandings maybe you it's your own expectations okay but this is all like about you who feels that things may not work out or it's like negative pattern that the, you've been repeating with this person but you're the one who's stuck in your head okay and maybe because of that with the seven of wands you're the one who's more defensive not wanting to accept the situation or not wanting to uh you know get out of your head and think that this person can change and they generally want all this with you okay Probably this person took a very long time before they came in towards you to take action. And now you probably just feel the need to guard yourself against them. Trust issues. But yeah, there is a level of toxicity here. Let's feel codependency. Some kind of behavior where you feel restricted. And getting more restricted, you know. A hangman here, and I feel that you want to take your time out. You know, I think with a hangman here, you're on a time out right now. You're wanting to pause and reflect on the situation of whether you want to give this energy or no, because the hangman here is trying to see things, waiting, putting things on a pause. Okay, maybe you've put them on a pause, or they put you on a pause. Whatever. I'm getting you've put the situation on a pause here because you very much realize with the seven of wands with the devil here, this is something that you've tried before. It's tried and tested, and it probably didn't work out. Yeah. Probably you re you you literally regretted giving this person chances over chances, okay? And this time when they're generally coming in towards you, wanting to balance the situation out and wanting to uh, make things right, wanting to rectify the situation, you don't believe them, okay? You don't. Maybe this person is someone who just drains you out. You know, you give them everything, you, you, you know, and by the end of the day, you're the one who's always drained out. And that's why see how stubborn you are when this person comes in, right? I think this is you, Aries. I don't know if you want to give this person a second. A second. Like, I don't know how many chances you give them. But I think the hangman, you're wanting to try and see things. Or this is this person who's probably put things on hold and they're trying to see things from a different point of view, okay? Maybe this is someone who had a very one-sided perspective towards the relationship here. Yeah, this is all I was waiting for with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, and now they're very clear about what they want. They took their time to get their head clear. They took their time to get that focus, okay, on this relationship. And I guess now they're very sure about what they want. And what they want is you. All the new beginnings with you. And six of Cups. See, that's a reconciliation. That's your ex coming back. If this is not an ex, this is just someone from your past, okay, who you've had a split with, where there was a lack of balance okay but yeah they are coming in they miss you they love you there's a lot of reminiscing okay a lot of reminiscing about the past memories yeah but they're very keen they're very keen on being with you but i think again with the devil here could be someone who's very obsessed with you and um Again, the hangman can be two people, okay? Either this is you who needs to learn a lesson that things cannot be forced. You will need to take your own time to think about things. No matter how much you try to force things, you no matter how much you try to push things through, if they're not going to work out at that time, they won't, okay? Timing is a very big thing for you here, okay? So, yeah. That pause, that, that forced break has come in, you know, into this relationship. Probably you were someone who probably went on and on and on and didn't give this relationship much um, um, energy. Or this could be this person who probably went on and on and trying to ignore what this relationship really needed, you know. And now this person has been forced to do that healing, forced to do that thinking. It's a very spiritual, very meditative energy, the hangman here. But they're coming back, okay? They miss you and they're coming back. Just be careful of the devil here. There are chances that there could be some negative patterns that are going to be repeated again. So just be very, very careful about when this person comes in, right? See that you'll learn your lessons. Because if you don't learn your lessons, they're going to keep repeating themselves and the lessons are going to be harder every single time and they're going to be even more painful. So be careful about that. What's the likely outcome for Aries and love this week? What's the likely outcome here for you and love this week? Death. Yeah, see, I see you ending a chapter in your life. This is ending something that you were very, very deep 
ending something on a very deep level here. So the death not only means endings, but it also means new beginnings. It's a, it's a transition, right? Where your relationship is probably moving to the next level. It's getting to, you know, it's, it's transiting, right? It's moving to a higher level. But yeah, old beliefs are dying. With a hangman here, there's someone here who's probably giving this a nice thought. Okay, and they're letting the old beliefs die. There is a time of inaction here. There is a time of being very silent and inactive here. So yeah, there could be a period of where you could be on halt or this relationship is just stuck and stagnant. But remember, it is for the best. It is for the best here. With the devil here, probably that could be one of the reasons where you probably want to rush things, okay? There could be insecurity, anything. But yeah, this, this hagman, this pause is very, very important. Give me one more card for the outcome. Yeah. So you're ending, you're using your intuition basically with outcome here. I think you're using your intuition. And according to you, your intuition asks you to end this negative cycle with the devil here. Okay. With the devil and the death here, I like this because that means that you're trying to end a cycle here. Okay, you're trying to end something that was constantly repeating itself. Maybe there was a lot of resistance from your side or resistance from their side. Okay, to finish something, shed the old and start something new. Okay, start a new belief system here or probably shed the old pattern of this relationship or this connection. Okay, and someone had to push themselves out of their comfort zone in order to move into the next level here. And that's what's happening here. But with the high priestess here, I think one of you or could be both of you. Okay, But I think someone here is wanting to trust their psychic guidance and they're wanting to trust their gut and their instinct and literally moving towards a new beginning here. More like a rebirth, but this death may feel very uncomfortable. It may feel like a part of you is dead, but this is going to be a very, very important transition change and a level up in your relationship okay so when the death comes in let it happen okay it's the best for you it's the best for this relationship all right if you don't want the down moment to happen again and again and again i don't see it here but i feel there was a down moment between you guys okay so if you don't want the down moment to come in again and again it's time for you to learn your lessons and let go of anything that is unhealthy toxic or something just needs to let go okay but yeah, I think you're going to lose your intuition here and you're going to let something end in order for something new to come in. Yeah, Aries. But as long as I see them with the aces here, they definitely want new beginnings with you. Okay, which means that when aces are here, it's starting from level one. So this is a rebirth. All right. So I don't feel you're ending things with this person here. I feel you're ending a chapter with this person and you're ready to move on to a next chapter okay which has a lot of passion a lot of love and a lot of stability i think they they've learned their lesson and they're ready to come back to you but with the devil you can also be obsession okay it does not always have to be a negative pattern but this is just someone who's obsessed or you both are very obsessed with each other yeah but it, the good thing is i like with the hangman here that there's one person here at least who's trying to take time out and trying to see where the relationship can go or how we can move it to the next level here but with the six of cups here i mean they're coming back okay it's not over if you think it's over it's not in fact it's coming back uh stronger i like that i'm gonna put that as your title so that's what I have for you, Aries. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.